Hello there, audience. I am your host, Golden Nuclear, and welcome to SmackDown. We open up the show with Edge talking about Daniel Bryan's Boulevard and us getting played. Bryan then comes out and talks about him being completely honest. We then get a possible hint at a heel turn, either between Bryan or Edge. Honestly, I'll be content with either. We then move on to our first match of the night, which is an eight-man tag. However, the heels attack all the faces before the match begins. We get some great teamwork with the faces just, you know, kicking all the heels. Natural. However, Bobby takes control of Dominic, and now Chad is doing that, and now Otis is doing that. And now you see the you, you see the trend. Dominic in an attempt to stir up some offense gets swatted out of the air by Otis. Chad comes back in and starts throwing him around. Now Bobby is in and works on the leg of Dominic. Dominic then hits a great DDT, which he should honestly be thinking Bobby though. I mean, Mysterio missed almost all of those ropes. And Bobby held him up the entire time. Dawkins and Zigzag get tagged in and chaos ensues. After Montez gets tagged in, the heels take control. Dolph puts Montez in a sleeper hold and Montez fights out of it, tags in Dawkins. But the ref didn't see it due to the distraction caused by Rude. Ray and Chad get tagged in, and Ray goes fast paced and hits a DDT on Chad. Bobby tags himself in and connects a spine buster on Ray, but we get a double 619 and a phenomenal frog spot. Time for Buddy vs. Cesaro with Rollins at ringside. Well, okay. Match ends early after Seth beats up Cesaro. We get a women's tag match. Reggie is involved. Also, I ship Reggie and Nia. I like it. Big E then comes out of the ring and also comes out of his bandages. Big E, Big E, calm down, man. If you're gonna open up a challenge for that intercontinental champion, well, I'm not dressed to fight, but I have no problem tearing up this ten thousand dollar suit or putting some scratches on this stop Rolex. stop i accept i ex challenge what, what are you, you doing i'm out here accepting this challenge you did not accept it we have it all on tape you you were gonna accept it maybe that's fine but you didn't so i am accepting it corbin this isn't about you this is the rematch that i've had coming for months and this is the perfect ending for my documentary no, 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 that, that, that is how it works that's it's how not, it works. That's, you don't just get the I do. you I fool Wh whoever gets in the ring first you get the match Now time for Big E versus Sammy Sammy. Oh yeah. He takes an early advantage with some knee strikes. Sammy gets a headlock. Big E then takes a shoulder and puts it into Sammy's head. However, E runs headfirst into Sammy's knee after trying to do something that involves it running head first. Sammy tries going for an elbow, but E catches him and throws him around a bit. Big E tries going for a frog splash kind of thing, but hits the ring, p uh, fucking, you know what I mean. The, the side of the, the apron. He hits the apron of, of the ring. Shut up. Once we come back from the commercial break, the two men find themselves on the top rope. And Sammy almost wins it. After slapping E a little bit, E builds up momentum. Big E hits a big ending and wins. Paula then attacks Big E after the bell. Now time for the contract signing. Roman says he doesn't want to sign the contract, and we get easily the funniest moment of the year so far. It's Brian calling himself the self-proclaimed head of the table. So it's a no. I'm not signing this. Okay, okay, okay. Well, who would have thought Roman Reigns was not a man of his word? Oh, but do you know what? Now it's all starting to make sense. Maybe that changed last week because, you know, for years, a lot of people have thought that I was better than you because I did something that you could never do and I made Jey Uso quit. Are you afraid to sign that contract? That's not the head of the table. Maybe I should be the self-proclaimed head of the table. Daniel Bryan, self-proclaimed head of the table, ruler of the island. I could be the head of the whole Samoan family. I mean, imagine that. Off of Sita, they would, they would love me. I'm so kind. Oh you, oh, you don't like that? Oh, oh. You're going to smash me, or are you too afraid? Oh. The promo ends with the match being announced for next week between Jey Uso and Edge. Winner gets to be the special guest enforcer of Brian and Roman's ma match at Fastlane. After that announcement, Edge goes after Roman and Brian goes after Jey. After Jey is thrown out of the ring by Brian, he tries to help out Edge only to get thrown away himself. Once Edge turns around, he is met with the running knee, thus finishing off SmackDown and leaving it to be decided about the possible heel turns that I like. So, um, this was uneventful but in all the right ways. This wasn't like Raw where it's uneventful and nothing happened. Like, clearly, two things happened from the previous Raw. 
that was all right this there were a little bit there was a little bit more flair in it without charlotte so i'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10 i still think it was great but it does it's building to something it feels like it's building something we're almost feel like it's building to anything but smackdown feels like it's building to something and that's that's kind of why i prefer smackdown right now raw also has ed brian and roman and jay and biggie and apollo and sammy and corbin and dominic and ray and they're all doing stuff street profits and rude and ziggler all i know is that raw has lashley and the hurt business and mcintyre and sheamus and miz maybe versus bad bunny i don't know like literally i don't know what's going on with raw and i can kind of gander the women's tag division stuff they're really built to get and i'm kind of glad they are but the matches aren't that good <laughs> that's nothing against the women either they put on phenomenal matches but they just aren't that good on either brand on, on all three brand well now the nxt women's tag match was pretty good but like that's my thing with wwe curve. that's for a whole different thing i'm gonna end this rant here <laughs> in this review uh, subscribe to nelson peace